Okay, we're up to week 22. 22, man, the time is going quick, isn't it? Life goes so fast. So you're all very young now, but life just goes like this. The Bible says it's like a vapor. So you don't want to waste your life, do you? Because it just goes so quick. Man, it just feels like we only started Bible Club not long ago. We're already 22 weeks in. Can you believe that? 22 weeks. Okay, let's start with prayer. Okay, hands together. Let's close our eyes and we're going to talk to God. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for gathering us here. I pray, Lord, that you give us a fun time now as we learn a little bit about Jeremiah, uh, the major prophet, and as we have some fun today with some games. So we thank you, Lord, uh, for this time. And I pray, Lord, that you help us to be attentive, have the right spirit as we play. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And then we say amen together. Amen. Good. Okay. Reminder, three rules. Sit quietly. Pay attention when I'm talking. And put your hand up. That's right, if you want to say something. We don't want to just yell out. We don't want to be rude. We want to be considerate, don't we? So we put our hand up. So we wait for our turn to speak. Okay. Oh, attendance pins. Ah, you need to have your vest here for attendance pins, so make sure you bring it next week. But uh, I'm going to give one to Matea, because Matea has reached four times, so she gets to add one of these to her vest. I'll just get one out. How many have you got on your vest, Matea? Five. Five. So you'll be up to... How many have you got, Simon? Uh, I've got five. I've got four. She's leveled up to us. Leveled up. You guys have five? Oh, yeah, five. What are you up to? Five. Four. Ah, yes, yes. So you're up to, you're up to five. Hey, your, your pin switched sides. <laughs> Mommy had to take it off. Ah, okay. To wash it. I'm not very good at putting these on. He's like, no, we're not too bad. Ah, there you go. So you have reached five. Ooh. Jeremiah and everyone else. Okay, I'm keeping track of this. So, when you guys remember, every time you reach four, you get another one. Okay. Ah. Just put this away. <coughs> All right, we're going to learn a little bit about book number 24 and 25. This is written by the same major prophet. How do we say this? Who knows? All right, Matteo. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Who knows how to read this one? All right, Simon. Lamentations. Lamentations. What does lamentations mean? Lamentations means when you're sad, when you lament. It's like when you're crying and mourning. Have you ever been really sad about something? Sometimes we get sad about silly things, don't we? We get sad about, you know, maybe when somebody's mean to us or, you know, we, we want to do something and somebody else doesn't want to do it and we get angry and we get sad. Now, we're going to find out today what Jeremiah was sad about when he wrote Lamentations. So Jeremiah was one of the major prophets. Remember last week we learned about Isaiah? Today we're learning about Jeremiah. I found this picture of that somebody drew of Jeremiah. Why is he like this in the book of Jeremiah? Because one of his jobs as a preacher of God in the book of Jeremiah was to proclaim the wickedness of Israel, all the wicked things that they had been doing. God sent him. So he went to go and tell off the nation of Israel tell them the bad things they did. They had to turn back to God and that they were going to go into captivity because of all the wicked and evil things that they were doing. Now, do you think that made Jeremiah a popular prophet? No, do you think people liked him? No, they didn't like him because he was telling them the truth. So sometimes when you tell people the truth, you're not always going to be popular. But... Does that mean you don't tell people the truth? No, you have to be like Jeremiah and have the boldness 
to tell the truth. Look at what it says in Jeremiah 1.8. We'll, I'll read it first and then we'll read it together. It says, Be not afraid of their faces. So God's telling Jeremiah, Don't be scared, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. So Jeremiah was sent to, to preach a true message that people didn't like. And God said, Don't be scared to tell them the truth. Let's read it together. You ready? Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 8. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. See, so what is it saying? Don't be scared because God is with you. If you're going to go do something that God has said to do, you don't need to be scared. And this is some of the evil things that Israel was doing. They were worshipping this false god called Molech. And you know one of the things that they were doing? They were burning their children. Can you believe that wicked thing that they were doing? They would have a baby and they would sacrifice it to this god and they would heat the hands of the god up really hot and then they would put the live baby on there as a sacrifice. Can you believe that? That's, this is how wicked Israel was getting. Now do you understand why Jeremiah was so angry? Why God was so angry with the nation of Israel that he sent Jeremiah to go tell them what they were doing wrong. So Jeremiah's message was because of the sin of Israel, this is why they went into captivity. Do you remember when we learned about the kings and eventually the nations got so wicked that God sent them into captivity? Well, this is the time <coughs> of Jeremiah. So, that's what the book of Jeremiah is about. It's preaching from Jeremiah, preaching about the wickedness of the nation, that they were going to go into captivity. And Jeremiah's message was that they needed to obey God and go into captivity. If they resisted going into captivity, those were the ones that were going to get killed. But if they submitted to God's will in terms of going into captivity, then they would be spared. And then one day they would be able to return back to Jerusalem. So after they went into captivity, do you know what the invading army did? They destroyed the city. I know this is a little bit hard to see, but this is the ruins. They, they smashed down the wall, they destroyed the temple. So maybe that gives you an idea about what Jeremiah was sad about. What was he sad about? Well, he was lamenting. Why do you think, Simon? Because of the nations of Israel was so wicked. Yeah, well that was one reason why. Yeah, one reason why they, we, he was sad because he knew that his home nation had rebelled against God, but also when he thought about the destruction of his city, he was also sad, right? Because of their wickedness, the city was destroyed, the house of God, the temple at the time was destroyed, and this is what the book of Lamentations is about. This is, this is why Jeremiah is also known as the weeping prophet, the weeping prophet, because of the tears he shed when he wrote Lamentations or he prophesied Lamentations, you know, basically expressing his grief to God about the sins of his nation and that they would turn back to God. But even amidst all this evil and all this wickedness, God promised one day that they would be able to return back to their land, and they did. So let's read Lamentations. I'll just read it first. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 40. Let us search and try our ways, look at this, and turn again to the Lord. So that's what Lamentations is about. Us, even though we have sinned, we need to, in our hearts, turn back to the Lord. And how do we do that? Before we do that, let's read this together. So ready? Lamentations chapter 3, verse 40. Let us search and try our ways and turn again to the Lord. So when we think about how this applies to us in the New Testament, what is the message of Jeremiah? That God must punish sin. You know, we're all sinners, aren't we? We may not have been as wicked as the nation of Israel, 
that we're all sinners. We've all sinned against God. And Jeremiah teaches us that there is a punishment for sin. Just like they had to go into captivity, we have a punishment for sin, don't we? It's hell. But if we turn to the Lord, they had to turn from sin in order to find grace for their nation. But what do we have to do in order to find grace? We need to turn to Jesus, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and that's how we can return back to God, just like they, if they turn from their sins, they got to return back to Jerusalem. So that's the picture there. We need to make sure we believe on Jesus Christ because sin has a punishment. Okay, I hope you learned a little bit about Jeremiah. So he wasn't the popular preacher. He had to tell the truth. We want to be like that. And he's also known as the weeping prophet. Why? Because he was sad about what had happened to his nation. But if we turn back to God, they can return back to the land just like we believe on Jesus. Okay, I hope you learned a little bit there about Jeremiah. Let's stand. We're going to just play some games today. We don't have a craft today. We're going to play some games. So there's going to be a bit of a, hopefully not too much weeping today, right? We don't want any weeping prophets after we play a game. Okay, we want to make sure when we play a game, we want to have the right, we need to learn how to win. We need to learn how to lose. Just like in Jeremiah, we need to learn how it is when things are going well, but when they have to go into captivity, they have to learn how to do that as well, don't they? Okay, so let's stand. We'll go to the back of the room.